Praise the Lord. We have already discussed in our previous Bible study that there is only one God. The Old Testament teaches that uh, there is only one God and the New Testament teaches that there is also one God. And in the Old Testament, ang Diyos ay inirevela yung kanyang sarili in singular uh, pronouns, singular noun. Uh, sabi niya, I, uh, alone, me, by myself, the Holy One of Israel. There is none like me. Uh, there is none beside me. Um, uh, there is no God before me. In the book of Isaiah, there is no God after me. So, i-describe niya yung kanyang sarili in the strongest possible oneness terms para maintindihan natin na siya lamang ay mag-isa. And then, ang Diyos ay uh, in-reveal niya yung kanyang sarili, yung kanyang pangalan in a progressive uh, way, dahan-dahan or hindi pa kumpleto. Dahil sa Old Testament, in-reveal yung kanyang sarili as Jehovah Jireh in Genesis chapter 22, Exodus 3.13 to 14, I am, ang kanyang pangalan in-reveal niya as I am in Exodus chapter 3. Uh, 6 verse 3, inirebel ang kanyang pangalan as Jehovah. But in Isaiah 52 verse 6, uh, the people of Israel was still looking for the future. Uh, sabi niya, in that day, my people shall know my name. Uh, looking forward in the future. In other words, there is still a longing for God na ang kanyang mga pangalan na inirebel in the Old Testament is still hindi uh, sapat sa pag-describe kung ano siya but sabi niya in that day looking for the future uh, revelation or the complete revelation of his one name Zechariah 14 verse 9 in that day uh, there shall be one Lord and his name one in other words lahat ng pangalan na in-reveal ng Diyos uh, in a progressive way sa kanyang sarili will be wrapped up in that singular name at alam natin na yung pangalan na yan is no other than Jesus Christ himself now uh, na establish na natin about the teaching about one God and uh, we are going to study uh, this day that Jesus Christ is that one God in the Old Testament God revealed his name as Jehovah in the New Testament, God revealed His name. The complete revelation of His name is Jesus Christ. Philippians 2, 12-13, uh, the name which is above every name. Acts 4, 12, wala nang ibang pangalan na ibinigay sa ilalim ng lupa uh, para tayo ay maligtas maliban sa pangalan ng Jesus Christ. So, Jesus Christ is the complete revelation of one name. Now, we will have... Uh, Bible study about the progressive revelation of the name of God. But I'm just going this uh, day to prove to you that uh, since there is only one God and Jesus Christ is God prophesied in the Old Testament as God and in the New Testament He is called God, that means that Jesus Christ is the one God of the Old Testament. Hindi siya ibang Diyos o hindi siya bagong Diyos but siya ang Diyos sa Old Testament because kung ang Diyos ay isa lang and then kung tinawag si Jesus na Diyos that means that siya ang Diyos na isa okay now in the Old Testament magsimula tayo sa Old Testament the Old Testament teaches that Jesus Christ is God now uh, we do not say that Jesus Christ uh, is uh, separate from God, but when the Old Testament prophesied that Jesus Christ is God, or si Jesus ay Diyos, it is speaking about the future arrival of Jesus Christ in the flesh. Jesus as the Spirit is the God of the Old Testament but as born in in uh, virgin birth from Mary, uh, He is still prophesied to be coming in the flesh. But even so, the Bible speaks that Jesus Christ is already God uh, prophesied in the Old Testament. Isaiah 9, 6, For unto us a child is born, a son is given, the government shall be upon his shoulder. Ang kanyang pangalan itatawagin, Wonderful Counselor, and the child who will be born is the Mighty God. Now, in the Old Testament, there is only one Mighty God. It is the Mighty God of Jacob in the book of Psalms, uh, which is Jehovah. The son that is going to be born is the mighty God, and di lamang mighty God, the Son is 
the everlasting father, the prince of peace. So, a very powerful verse. In Isaiah 7.14, uh, the son who will be born, the Messiah, is called Emmanuel. And the meaning ng Emmanuel, Matthew 1.22-23, is God with us. Jesus Christ is God with us. Nung na, na, ipinanganak si Jesus, at ang mga apostoles ay nakasama niya, nakasama ng mga apostoles ang si Emmanuel o ang Diyos naging kasama nila. But not as the Spirit, but as God na nasa laman na. And in uh, Isaiah uh, 11 verse 1 and also in Revelation 22 verse 16, dito natin makikita that um, Jesus Christ was called the branch of Jesse and Jesus Christ is also the root of Jesse. Sa, si Jesus Christ, si Jesse ay nanggaling sa kaniya as the root and at the same time siya ay nanggaling sa kay Jesse, the father of David, as the branch. That means that as God, Jesus Christ as God, sa kanya nanggaling ang, ang pamilya ni Jesse. But Jesus Christ as a man, sa kanya as, nanggaling siya sa lahi ni Jesse, sa lahi ni David. So we can see here the dual uh, nature of Jesus Christ as God and man. We will also discuss that later on. And then in Isaiah 35, ito napaka uh, uh, powerful uh, verse that teaches that Jesus Christ is God. Sabi niya, when, Behold your God ang just nyo ay darating. Uh, speaking of the future, hindi niya sinabi, ang tao ay darating, but sabi nga in Isaiah 35 verse 4 to 6, Behold your God is coming at kung darating ang araw na darating na siya, ito yung mga tanda. Uh, he, he will come and save you. And then sabi niya, uh, the blind eyes will be opened, ang mga bingi ay makakarinig, ang mga lumpo ay makakatalon, ang mga... Uh, Yung mga pipi ay makakapagsalita in Matthew, in Luke 7.22, in-apply ito ni Jesus Christ sa Kanya. It is a prophecy about God na kung darating ang Diyos ay ang mga maraming may mga sakit ang makakagagaling uh, at in-apply ito ni Jesus Christ sa Kanyang sarili. That means that He is the God prophesied in the Old Testament. In Isaiah 40 verse 3, uh, it speaks about John the Baptist na he is going to prepare the way of the Lord. John the Baptist ay ihahanda ya yung daan ng Panginoon. Now the Lord, if you notice in your Bible, is capital L-O-R-D. Ang original niyan is Yahweh. So si John the Baptist ay ihanda niya yung daan ni Yahweh. He, is, he will be the forerunner of Yahweh. So, the forerunner of Jehovah, the God of the Old Testament. At alam natin kung sinong daan yung ipinipre-prepare ni inihanda ni Juan de Bautista. It is the coming of Jesus Christ in Matthew 3 verse 3. That means that Jesus Christ is the Jehovah of the Old Testament. He is the God of the Old Testament. In Micah 5 verse 2, uh, the Messiah is God. Uh, Bethlehem o Ephrata, out of thee shall he come forth unto me that is to be the ruler in Israel, whose goings forth have been from of, of old, from everlasting. Mula sa uh, Ephrata, Bethlehem, ipapanganak yung isang, yung Messiah, yung Savior, na ang kanya sabi, uh, his goings forth have been from of old, from everlasting. That is only applied to God. That means na yung anak na ipapanganak doon, nang galing pa sa walang hanggan. Means Jesus Christ is God even before His birth. He is the God of the Old Testament. Now, uh, in the New Testament, still Jesus Christ is God. In Thoma, uh, John 20, 28, sabi ni Thomas sa kanya, my Lord and my God, Panginoon ko at Diyos ko. Sabi ng iba, si Thomas daw ay nagulat lang, but that is an assumption. Uh, that is a poor assumption because hindi pwedeng si Thomas ay, ang pagkagulat ni Thomas ay magkukonfesa that na si Jesus Christ hindi lamang Panginoon, uh, siya rin ay Diyos. At pag sinabi mong Panginoon, hindi yan na parang master lang, although it has a connotation uh, a second connotation as a master but when it when you say lord when they call jesus christ lord uh, master or when they call jesus christ uh, lord 
it is Adonai. It is uh, or Koryos in Greek that that has as a reference to the deity or sa pagkajos. That's why uh, pag sinabi mong Lord in the time of Jesus Christ, you are referring not just only He is the Master of your life, but He is the Lord. He is the Adonai. He is the God of the Old Testament. Yan yung substitution ng mga tao sa kay Jehovah in the Old Testament. Dahil takot sila na tawagin ang pangalan ni Yahweh or ni Jehovah. Sinabstitutan nila ng Adonai or Lord. So in the New Testament, in apply din ito ng mga apostles. But when they say Lord, it is has a connotation of deity o pagkadiyos. That's why sinabi ni Tomas, my Lord and my God. At inaccept in ni Jesus Christ yung kanyang confession. Hindi sinabi ni Jesus na wag mo akong tawagin Diyos dahil hindi ako Diyos. But anong sabi ni Jesus? Naniwala ka sa akin dahil nakita mo ako. In other words, tinawag mo akong Panginoon, tinawag mo akong Diyos dahil nakita mo ako. Kung si Jesus Christ ay hindi Diyos, dapat kiniler na ni Jesus kay Klenaro na niya sana na wag mo akong tawagin Diyos dahil hindi ako Diyos. But no, inaccept ni Jesus Christ ang kanyang confession. That means, since Jesus Christ ay hindi nagsisinungaling, that That means that uh, dahil hindi niya ito niribat or hindi niya ito binawi, that means that he is accepting the confession of Thomas. At sabi niya nga, in fact, Thomas, naniwala ka sa akin dahil nakita mo ako. Pero mas ma, uh, pinagpala sila na hindi nila ako nakita but they believe also in me kahit na hindi nila ako nakita. In other words, uh, Jesus Christ is referring to the people of the future which is us na kahit na hindi tayo nakakita sa kanya personally, kagaya ni Tomas, but we still confess and believe the same confession and believe belief of Thomas that He is our Lord and He is our God. And in Acts 20.28, makita natin na ang iglesia ay binili ng Diyos na kanyang sariling dugo. Now, ang Diyos ay walang dugo dahil ang Diyos ay Spirit. Paano siya nagkaroon ng dugo? Walang iba kundi sa pamamagitan ni Jesus Christ. Wala nang ibang nagbuwis ng kanyang dugo maliban kay Jesus Christ. That means that the blood of Jesus Christ can be considered as the blood of God. Yan yung word na ginamit ni Paul. That in other words, ang, ang, ang dugo na, na ibinuhos ni Jesus sa Calvario is no other than the blood of God in the Incarnation. Ang Diyos na nagpakataw sa lang. Titus 2.13, Great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. Uh, 2 Peter 1.1, Paul described Jesus, uh, Peter described Him as God and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Mas klaro ang NIB. Sabi niya, sa NIB, sabi niya, Our God and Savior, Jesus Christ. In Ephesians 3.17 and in 1 Corinthians 3.16-17, sabi sa Biblia, Our body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. At alam natin na ang nananahan sa ating puso in Ephesians 3.17 ay walang iba kundi ang Espiritu ni Jesus Christ. So, ang ating katawan ay templo ng Diyos at ang nanahan dito ay Espiritu ni Jesus. That means, ito ay templo ni Jesus na Diyos because He is the Spirit of God. And in Colossians 2.9, napaka-powerful, uh, napaka-pangyarihan na verse 4, In Him dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. Ang kabuoang pagka-Diyos ay nananahan sa Kanyang katawan o sa Kanyang pagpakatao. And then, in, sabi in Colossians 2.10, We are complete in Him. Kompleto na tayo sa kay Jesus Christ. Now, napakasimple ng mensahe sa Biblia. Napakaklaro that uh, God is one. And uh, that God in the Old Testament is a spirit. Wala siyang laman, wala siyang uh, katawan, wala siyang buto. But because of His love, nagpakatao siya sa laman in the person of Jesus Christ. So, we have one God. That one God is Jehovah in the Old Testament. In the New Testament, in reveal niya ang kanyang pangalan as Jesus Christ in fulfillment sa prophecy sa Isaiah 52 verse 6 and Zechariah 14 verse 9. And uh, in 1 Timothy 3.16, ang Diyos ay nagpakatao sa laman. John 1.1, the Word which is God became flesh and dwelt among us. And then may, may isa pa ditong... Uh, versikulo 2 Corinthians 5 verse 19 God was in Christ ang Diyos ay nasa kay Kristo na reconciling the world unto himself so uh, God was in him 
kahit na in John 1.18 walang nakakita sa Diyos but when God manifest nagpakatao sa salamat ang tao ngayon ay nakita na nila uh, si, si Jesus Christ ang Diyos nakita na nila in the person of Jesus Christ now sasagutin ko yung sabi ng iba na uh, na basahin mo nga na si Jesus talaga ang nagsabi sa kanyang sarili na sabi niya ako ang Diyos para to stop the argument but you know that is a very uh, uh, high school trick uh, na sabasahin mo talaga kung nasaan dyan na masasabi mo na yung ba pinapahanap ka talaga ng word for word that is a, a, a high school na way of argument Dahil kung sasabihin mo yan pwede ko rin sabihin sa'yo basahin mo nga rin na na, na sinasabi dyan na si na si Jesus ay nagsabi talaga sa kanya sarili na hindi ako ang Diyos. So, that is a, a high school trick. But, a, if you study the scripture, ang, ang nabasa natin kanina, ang mga propeta at ang mga apostoles, and even Jesus Christ Himself, in John chapter 14, sabi niya, ang nakakita sa akin ay nakakita sa Ama. Bakit mahanap ka pa sa Ama? Sabi niya, ang Ama ay nasa akin, uh, at ako sa Ama. He is talking about the union ng pagkadyos at pagkatao. So, kung i-corroborate mo ang lahat ng mga teachings ng mga apostoles at ng mga propeta and the word of Jesus Christ Himself, makakakonclude ka that Jesus Christ is the God of the Old Testament. Hindi mo na kailangan hanapin diyan letra por, por letra na hanapin mo ang isang bagay na asang ayon sa uh, pag-construct ng pag-iisip mo. But, um, there is an answer to why is it na hindi directly na sinabi ni Jesus Christ na ako ang Diyos. Because if you notice, ang mga Hudyo ang kanyang kaharap. Alam ng mga Hudyo that God in the Old Testament is a spirit. At nakikita nila si Jesus Christ as just only an ordinary man. Bakit hindi sinabi ni Jesus Christ na ako ang Diyos directly? Because alam niya na hindi siya paniniwalaan ng mga Hudyo because kapos yung pagkaalam ng Hudyo, akala ng mga Hudyo, ang kanilang Diyos ay confined lamang sa kanyang pagka-espirito. So pag sinabi ni Jesus, ako ang Diyos, ako si Jehovah, para na rin sinasabi ni Jesus na ako ang Espirito, but si Jesus Christ ay hindi lamang Espirito. So, Ang mga Hudyo ay, ay hindi siya maintindihan sa kanyang claim or mamimisinterpret sa mga Hudyo because hindi kinilay ni Jesus Christ directly that He is God because Jesus Christ is more than a God. He is more than the Spirit of God. Jesus Christ is the Spirit in the flesh. Espiritu na nasa laman o Espiritu na nadamitan ng laman. God in the flesh. That's why although alam natin that He is God but He is more than just the Spirit of God. He is God incarnate, God in the flesh. That's why sin, nung sinabi niya, na hindi niya sinabi that I am God because alam niya na hindi may siya maintindihan ng mga Hudyo or he must hindi na maniniwala sa kanyang mga Hudyo. Because the Jews uh, uh, believe that God is only a spirit. But here, Jesus Christ is uh, a spirit in the flesh. Spirit na nasa laman. Pero nung sinabi ni Jesus Christ, ang nakakita sa akin ay nakakita sa Ama. He is already appealing to the mind and to the understanding of the Jews na nirevolutionize niya yung pag-intindi ng mga Hudyo, na akala ng mga Hudyo, ang Diyos ay nakonfine lamang sa pagka Espiritu. But we now have Jesus Christ nung sinabi niya, ako ang nakakita sa Ama, ang nakakita sa akin ay nakakita sa Ama. It gives a spark to the Jew na, oh, Ibig mo sabihin, ang, ang, ang Espiritu ngayon ng Diyos ay nasa iyo. Kaya pumulot sila ng, pumuha sila ng bato para batuhin si Jesus Christ nung sinabi ni Jesus, kung ayaw yung maniwala sa akin, ang Ama ay nasa akin <coughs> at ako ang sa Ama. Jesus Christ is already appealing to them in their conscience that God is now manifested o nagpakatao na in the person of Jesus Christ. At dyan siya naintindihan ng mga Hudyo na ang conclusion ng mga Hudyo tao ka na nagpapakajos but hindi na intindihan ng mga Hudyo that he is Dios na nagpakatao sa laman so that's the reason why hindi directly na sinabi ni Jesus that I am God or 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 because that is equivalent to saying I am the spirit of God but because Jesus Christ 
is more than the Spirit of God. Kaya sina, uh, imbis na sabihin niya, I am God directly para mas maintindihan ng mga tao at walang theological or doctrinal error at walang mix up of, of uh, theological terminology at para may describe ni Jesus Christ kung ano ang nangyari sa kanya, sinabi niya, ang ama ay nasa akin ang nakakita sa akin ay nakakita sa man. That means, I am not just only the Spirit of God, but I am the Spirit manifest in the flesh. John 1.1, 1, 1, 1 Timothy 3.16. So we are going to discuss next time that Jesus Christ is both God and man. God bless you.